We start the men's short program with it. Daisuke Murakami from Japan. Twice third this season, Skate Canada, and at the Trophée Bompard. And he's really come into his own over the last few seasons. I remember when I was competing, he was competing for the United States in the junior ranks. And yes, he was talented, but he wasn't really something special. He wasn't at the top of those ranks. But man, he's really come into his own as of late. Quadruple Sao Cow. Followed up with an excellent triple axle. Such a relief to get through the hardest two jumping passes this early in the program. Bullets forward with the hand down. He can only get the double toe on the end. That will cost him in an event like this. Daisuke Murakami from Japan able to tap into the emotion and the theatrics of Bring Him Home, the song from Les Miserables. And it really was a great skate. He got through two of the hardest elements that we see in skating just flawlessly. But the mental lapse on the triple-triple, when you don't get the points of that extra triple toe, in an event like this where everybody's going to do a quad, everybody's going to do a triple axle, they're also going to do a triple-triple, if not a quad-triple. So that's a lot of points to leave on the table when you're trying to make a statement. And there's his legendary coach, Frank Carroll. And here's a look at that opening quad. Just watch the spine. There's no change on the landing as he comes down on the quad, on the triple axle. He looks like he's coming down from a double jump, and that's what you want to see is the ease of jumping. And there's the mishap, the second half, the triple-triple becoming the triple-double with the hand touching down. That's really going to cost him in the technical score. But that being said, component-wise, he looks very invested in the program, and he's really putting it all out there. He was the final qualifier for this year's Grand Prix final. Based on those two bronze medals he won earlier this season. And 
his score, 83.47. That is a season best for Murakami. That's about three points better than he did at both Grand Prix assignments. And he wasn't quite as flawless here as he was at his earlier Grand Prix. So that's a statement. When he gets a season's best with a, an error, they're really making up for the underscores earlier.